Hi, everybody, and welcome. My name is Dave Cabellas. I'm part of the Enterprise Cloud Native Java team at Oracle. Um, today, I'm going to do a, a quick demo of the application upgrade tooling for WebLogic Server 1412. So let's jump right in here. Um, so what is this WebLogic application upgrade tool? It's a tool that leverages open rewrite. So we provide um, recipes and we use recipes from the uh, from the community to, to help do things like automate um, and reduce the overhead of application updates. We use this to handle application changes needed for WebLogic server version upgrades, JDK upgrades. This tooling complements the WebLogic domain upgrade tooling. So for your WebLogic domain, you still need to run the uh, reconfiguration wizard to upgrade from 12.214 or another version to, to WebLogic Server 14.12. This is um, specifically to upgrade your application to make it uh, to make it run on uh, WebLogic Server 14.12. And and part of this too, like you know, we're looking at um, the, you know the, the the idea that application upgrades can sometimes be complex. They typically require a JDK version upgrade, a WebLogic version upgrade, and in build tools, API changes, that sort of thing. And then many times there are other third-party products, uh, libraries in, involved in the application or as dependencies in the application, those need to be upgraded. Um, can also include an upgrade to um, the Java EE version, the Jakarta EE version. So there's a, a fair amount of you know, surface area here that, that needs to be considered. We did hear some concerns around the move from Java 8 or Java 11 to Java 17 or to or to Java 21. We've actually not seen much issues with that. Um, in, in many cases, there aren't that many changes required, but uh, we're providing this tooling uh, really to, to make it easy in general. And then from, a, from an enterprise use case perspective, you know, imagine having hundreds of applications that all need to be upgraded. Uh, anything we can do there to automate updates, um, reduce the risk of human uh, error, reduce the cost. Um, this, is, this is generally a good thing. You know, this tooling leverages open rewrite. Um, open rewrite is, you know, quote unquote, owned by a company called Modern. Uh, Modern was founded by some former Netflix employees who realized that a lot of companies need to refactor large sets of applications and they need to be able to do it, uh, you know, in a, in a risk-free way. Um, so they, they created this, this tooling and it's, it's really nice. It's got a nice community around it. We're seeing lots of uptake by other companies. You can see there's a list here. There are lots more than are on the list, right? Um, the, uh, the way Open Rewrite works is, you know, it's a plug-in to either Maven or Gradle. So you um, you, you trigger the the uh, the process through Maven or Gradle. The application code um, refactoring the logic is stored in recipes, and these recipes are stackable. Um, you can create composite recipes, so recipes that that are multiple recipes combined. They can call other recipes. And all this is customizable. Um, so most of the recipes out in, in the community are in open source. The WebLogic recipes are no different. Uh, we publish them on, on GitHub. So when you run Open Rewrite, it, it's pretty amazing what it does. It actually scans the source code and creates um, a lossless semantic tree of the source code in memory. And this lossless semantic tree is like you know a syntax tree on steroids. It, it creates um, these structures uh, that include so much, you know, metadata and, and data, um, you know, code that then you can apply these recipes against. And the recipes are not simple, you know, find and replace this string. It's um, let me look for this particular structure and then let's transform that structure in such a way that that it's now compliant with your with your desired state. Um, so pretty cool stuff. And then at the end. Um, after after it's done all the different transformations, it regenerates the code, preserving white space, preserving format, formatting, really interesting stuff. And we've seen great results with this. <clears throat> for our use cases, we do use recipes from the community, especially for the Java updates. And then uh, we're our team is publishing WebLogic specific recipes. Um, we're participating in the community. We're providing fixes to other recipes, um, updates to other recipes. Again, the idea here is if you have um, other things that you need to update as part of your application, third-party libraries, that sort of thing, you need to get recipes to handle those third-party libraries. Um, and so <clears throat> we're giving you the tools and we're fitting into this um, upgrade environment, this application re, um, refactoring environment. Good stuff. 
Um, we are providing, again, a, a primarily a, a composite recipe that does specific updates for WebLogic Server 14.1.2, and we're using the Java 17 and Java 21 um, recipes from the community. It's all in open source. I'll show you this in a second. We do publish all of our artifacts to Maven Central. Our recipes are listed in the uh, open rewrite uh, recipe marketplace. And from a futures perspective, WebLogic 15.1.1, uh, we've, we've created a bunch of uh, beta uh, recipes for beta, uh, and we expect to continue to participate in the open rewrite community. So this is, you know, we see this as uh, the way forward. So let's jump into the demo. Um, so I do want to, let's start here by, um, I want to show you the, the recipe. This is our GitHub repo. Um, and if we look at, let's scroll down here, you can see there's actually, you know, links to tutorials. We've got um, lots of good documentation right here on the README. There's a full documentation set there also. But if we go to this main recipe, 1412, <clears throat> we'll see here that there's, this is the recipe list. So this is a composite recipe. Um, we see we update the build um, dependencies to WebLogic 1412. We check and comment out deprecations for removed WebLogic APIs. We update faces um, to Jakarta faces 2.x. We migrate WebLogic server schemas to 14.1.2. And then we, um, we, we handle this XML bind. Um, this is the set of recipes under the covers. We, we expose it as one composite recipe, uh, but all the sources here. Um, and then want to do is run through one of these tutorials. All right, so this is the Migrate WebLogic Cafe to WebLogic 14.1.2. So WebLogic Cafe is a sample that was uh, created by Microsoft. It's hosted on their GitHub repo. Um, we're going to use their that source. Um, we're going to update it and deploy it to WebLogic. Um, so we're going to we're going to run through this, right? So let me let me copy this. Basically, make sure that you have Java 8 or later installed. Make sure you have Maven 3 installed. Um, and then we're going to clone this repo. So let me go over to my terminal. You can actually see I have Maven 3.9.9 installed. I've got Java 17 installed. Um, so I am going to, let's clear this, start fresh. And we're going to clone. This is the WebLogic on Azure Git repo. Uh, so now I've cloned that. And now um, the next thing is to sync Maven dependencies. I want to do this within VS Code. So let's open VS Code and get rid of that file folder. And this is where we just um, cloned to. So in here we've got this, this is the WebLogic Cafe example that we're talking about. And um, from here, I'm going to open uh, this integrated terminal. And then I do need to set up Maven here because I, I don't have it set up um, to run here. Switch that. Okay, so now Maven is set up and now um, I want to do um, Maven clean install to take care of um, resolve any dependencies. Um, so we've done that. All right, so now let's go over to all right, so I, we actually followed all these steps already. Maybe clean install. Now we're going to run. Um, <clears throat> we're going to run this update. Now I'm using Java 17. I have a, um, a command on my text file over here, so I'm using Java 17. And let's go here. Uh, bring this up. Okay. So here we've got. Um, we're using this Maven rewrite plugin. Um, we're dependent on this rewrite migrate Java project, and we're dependent on this re, uh, rewrite web logic project. Uh, and then in that, we're going to use some specific recipes. We're going to use up, upgrade to Java 17, and we're going to use upgrade to web logic 14.1.2. So we're going to do that. Um, and this will go through again, creating, it's going to scan source code, create a lossless semantic tree. Um, it makes changes to the code and, and, or to the structure and, it's, and then regenerates the code. And these warnings are basically saying, hey, I made changes to, I made all these different changes um, to, to your files. 
Um, and it's like, it's, it tells me which recipe uh, was the recipe to actually do that. Because some of these recipes, even like the Java 17 recipe also says you first it upgrades to Java 11 and then goes from 11 to 17. So um, pretty cool stuff. And you can see that this, this worked. And if we look and see what changed, I can come here and say, let's look at the POM file. And can bring this down. Um, and you can see we added this JAXB runtime um, dependency. And some of this has to do with there are changes in like what's what's included as part of the JDK and now what's part of the app server. So some things have moved to the app server, so you have to set up um, additional dependencies. Um, here we've got this XML bind. This is the, the version that we talked about. And we're talking about the recipe. Now we're at um, Maven plugin, uh, compiler plugin version 3.14 instead of 3.8. We're at Java 17. And then this Maven war plugin is now version 3.4 instead of 3.2.2. A couple other small changes in, um, in these other files. Again, not tons of changes. This is a kind of simple example. Uh, works well though. Um, so now that we have this, let's actually build the application. I'm going to say Maven clean package, and I'm going to skip tests just for time reasons. Okay, that's ready. So now we've rebuilt the war file based on these changes. Um, so if I switch back to this, <clears throat> uh, so we've done this. We've, um, uh, so I just did that, um, and now it's saying if you can, if you have a 14.12 domain available, you can deploy um, as supplied. This application needs a database and a JDBC data source. Instructions for Postgres and a JDBC data source are in the original example instructions. However, um, we can use Derby, and I have I have a WebLogic server domain up and running, and I have this Derby flag set, so we're running Derby, and then within my WebLogic domain, I've actually. Um, created a, a JDBC data source that's ready to go, right? So it's it's just a, a very, you know, it's an empty Derby server right now. And then we say here, you know, create equals true. So when we connect to the database, it'll actually create, it'll use a um, TDL that's in the source to create the, uh, the database schema. Um, so let's bring over the remote console, WebLogic Server remote console. So WebLogic Server 14.12 now uses uh, the remote console. So I'm in the edit tree. Um, and let's take a look, let's show you services here, data sources. So I have this um, web cafe data source set up as, as we described. Um, and I wanna go to deployments and I wanna do an app deployment. So let's create a new app deployment. Let's call it WebLogic. Okay, I'm going to run this on the admin server because that's the only server in my domain uh, from a source. So this is where we cloned to Java EE, uh, WebLogic Cafe, Target, and then here's this war, right? Just, just created that. So open that. Uh, and we want to start the application. So this will be ready to go. So now I can say, um, create, so that's ready to go. And um, now I have to commit my changes. So this is actually gonna do the deployment. So now if I go to um, the deployments here, should be able to see um, application runtime data, WebLogic Cafe. So we can say it's running it's in okay health state, so it's running on the admin server, so this is up and running. So that's it, right? We took a, an application from, you know, uh, from right off the internet, did the upgrade, um, and then brought it back to um, to 14.12 and, and made it all ready. So that is the end of my demo. Thank you so much for, for your attention, um, and stay tuned for more, uh, more videos to come your way. Take care.